a lot of my research is focused on improving the efficiency of, uh, of breeding programs, uh, particularly wheat and barley. Uh, one of the challenges that breeders face um, is uh, dealing with such a large number of genes. So the, the, the methodologies that I've developed uh, focus on uh, how we can more rapidly um, pyramid large numbers of genes into adapted uh, genetic backgrounds. Some of the new research that we're, that we're doing um, involves a technique called speed breeding, not speed dating. Uh, and we, we got this um, idea from originally from NASA, um, who trialled this technology uh, for growing um, space, um, wheat in space on long uh, spa space uh, missions to feed their crew. And uh, so it involves growing the plants under constant light and temperature to speed up the rate of uh, plant development. And by doing this, we can achieve up to seven uh, plant generations in one year. So we go super fast. And so we, we see this as a really exciting um, methodology for breeding to apply in programs where we can couple that with selection for particular traits like disease resistance. So. I see that's... Th this is where my research will have impact, um, enabling breeders to uh, use those technologies to make better varieties for farmers. Well, if we're talking about barley, that's it's a very important product of, of barley is beer, so and and something that um, you know is very popular around the world. Um, obviously. Um, Stabilising grain quality in barley uh, from malting um, is, is, is very important and so the disease traits and um, drought, toler drought stress and heat stress um, have big effects on uh, malting quality so um, this is something that we're targeting as well. Well I think uh, a lot of our research is, is not communicated um, at all uh, and the general public are not aware of what we're actually doing. Um, I think that's a big challenge uh, for us in the future uh, to communicate more effectively and engage in the public. Um, I think it's critical for funding. Um, if the public uh, are not aware of what we're doing, um, how are that we expecting them to give us money for our research? Um, so, you know, uh, in terms of developing, uh, in, uh, putting research effort into uh, understanding disease resistance in the crops that we grow, um, improving drought tolerance. Um, you know, these are these are the sort of things that we we need to communicate uh, much much stronger because they're very important for um, for increasing the yield um, around the world in cereals. So, yeah, I was uh, one of twelve national finalists in this uh, fresh science competition, and to to apply, you had to have a discovery. That in science that hadn't been communicated um, at all, and so I uh, I presented my work on um, on adult plant resistance uh, to leaf rust in in barley, and uh, we put in the in the process is putting together a press release, and so um, and and going through the media training, and uh, I found this um, really an eye-opening experience and so valuable, um, uh, and. At the end of the day, we put the press release out and had all, all this exposure and, and uh, people contacting me from all around the world. It was, it was I've recently um, started up a, a Twitter account. You know, a change is coming in, in terms of how we can communicate more effectively with people through social, social media. Um, I have a page now where I have my online uh, research profile where my Twitter feeds actually automatically uh, accumulate uh, so um, and this is interesting uh, reading about our research papers and text is not so interesting pictures in the field demonstrating what we're doing on the ground now, that's interesting so. uh, my Twitter account is uh, at Dr Hickoff um, and so yeah I mean we're actively um, tweeting the research that we do the findings that we make you know, often I'll tweet something, we don't need to wait until we publish it. Um, you know, it lets engage people and, 